Hey photographers, in this video we're going to talk about blend modes and textures and the fun you can have with both of them. So here's a photograph I took in Morocco a bunch of, bunch of years back. Uh, it's a friend of mine. And what I thought we could do is, though this is a great photograph, I think it'd be a good example for just adding some textures and, and uh, blending them together. So first, what am I talking about? Well, one of the, th the cool things, uh, one of the cool things I like to do is uh, I like to gather textures. So this is one of my favorite textures, just a, uh, just a watercolor paper, just a photograph of watercolor. Uh, here's a wall I saw somewhere in Jakarta, I don't even remember where, but most of these I took with my iPhone because it's just, it's a phone that I have or a camera that I have on me. Uh, here's a, something my daughter, two-year-old daughter, painted with, I don't even know what it is, but she painted it so it's good texture to hold on to. Uh, this is bark from a tree and I sort of added a hue it's a little bit bluer, um, but obviously I can take that out. And uh, here's a burlap sack. Um, well, some of these I found online actually, but I've got hundreds and hundreds of textures that are uh, fun to play with. So what I thought I'd do is I'd add a texture to this photograph and then a, a flower that, uh, that I took a bunch of years back as well. So what can we add to this one? Well, I think what I'll do is I'll start with, um, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll do this one. So what you can do is you can click your move tool here, grab it, go over to Morocco, and let it go. So obviously way too big, so let's put it in free transform. So edit, free transform, I'll zoom out so I can see everything. Push shift and alt and it will scale it appropriately and you can move it in there. I think that's about good. Let's see what we got. Okay, I think yeah, I can live with that. All right, push the little check button. Let's zoom back in. Okay, so when you have these two layers um, on top of an, one another, I put my texture on top, and then here's your blend modes here. They're all right here. Uh, the first one I usually go to is soft light. And so you can see that's kind of a cool effect. Uh, another one I go to is overlay and I'll go to multiply sometimes as well. Obviously that's way too much, so in my opinion soft light seems to, to work pretty well in most occasions. If you want to scroll through them, you can push shift and the plus button and it can just scroll through, see all the different effects. Some of them are, some of them are out there, but uh, nonetheless, and minus you can go the other direction. So let's go find that uh, soft light. Okay, so obviously way too strong right now, so I can go over and grab the opacity, drag it down, maybe something like this. And then what I can do is I can grab my eraser tool, make it big with the, uh, with the brackets, and uh, opacity down here, yeah, something like 18%. I can just start maybe clean it up a little bit. Just toning it down. little bit more and if you wanted to you could actually go and select the uh, the mountains there if you wanted to adjust in the mountains I think I've gone way too far um, yeah I kind of like it just like this okay so that's the uh, blend mode there that's one of them and the other one uh, I'll grab this burlap sack and grab our move tool, take it up to the Bangkok flower, and let it go. Whoops. Let's do it again. Grab it, Bangkok flower. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I don't care. Okay, good. Uh, so, let's put it in free transfer, command T, and let's drag it. I don't want it to be so loose, so I do like the idea. Actually, this will probably work pretty good. I'll let it, let it go there. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to desaturate it. So push uh, command U, drag the saturation down. That just basically turns it to black and white. And then what I'm going to do is, you can see right here, uh, if I go to soft light, this is what it looks like now. It's pretty cool. It's not great. Uh, 
I've got a better idea, I think. So let's go back a step. And I'm going to copy the layer. So now I've got two of them. So then I'm going to go up to Filter, Blur, and I'll go to Motion Blur. And I have it set at negative 45, so it's going off in this direction here. And let's go, uh, yeah, 90 pixels. I'll be good. Okay, let's turn that one off. Go to the second one, do the same thing. Blur, motion blur, and we'll go 45 degrees. So what we're going to try and do is create this sort of cross hatch. And that's done. So let's turn them both on, highlight the top one, and go to overlay. You can see now I've got this cross hatch. So I'll shift, layer, merge, I can put them together, and uh, Let's do soft light. Again, you can see there, it's kind of uh, a cross-hatching feature, which is kind of cool. So there's the before, uh, there's the after. If you don't like the after, you can sort of tone it down a little bit. You can just slightly see the cross-hatching. Maybe you can in the video, but uh, I kind of like it. And if you wanted to go back and adjust the uh, just the blend modes, you sort of have to start over, but uh, if you converted it to a um, if you com uh, converted it to a smart filter, uh, then you would be able to go in and change it. So there you go. Um, if you wanted a good website for uh, what, blend, what the blend modes actually do, this northlight.net um, is pretty good. It tells you exactly what all the, uh, all the blend modes actually do, and it gives a slight description, small description of uh, actually what's happening to the to the pixels in the histogram so good luck have some fun uh, start collecting textures just like a lot of us do it's pretty fun